I first get the call, I walk in, and there's feces there at the door meeting me. Stacks of paper, books, boxes. Now, you, you ain't have no idea what this um, house look like, huh? Thomas makes it sound nice. <laughs> this house right here is by far the worst house I've ever encountered. Well, I mean, we're starting this with no money and out of courtesy to try to get y'all's life back to whatever normal is. I don't want, I don't trust this gentleman, and I said the only way I'll do this is with certified funds at the house that I can see. Although much of the job has been completed, emergency water removal still has not received the insurance check from the Reese's Mortgage Company, which means this is John's fifth month on hold. Thank you for calling. All our representatives are busy or otherwise incapacitated. Your call is important to us. Please continue to hold and nothing else. Thank you for holding. Bye. It's been a rough few months for John. He paid for the cabinets. We've already paid for the countertop. Okay, everything's paid for. The Reese's insurance company is wondering why, after all this time, the job still isn't done. They are not familiar with the Reese's, uh, let's say, eccentricities. He has complained about the hardwood floors that we put in. The other person in the household. Could have been the dog, could have been the wife. Somebody was peeing on the floor. I don't know who that was, but somebody was peeing on the floor. And now he wants them removed again because he has a dog that pees and poops all over the floors and they're buckling up because of the, the pee does not uh, work too well with laminate. Okay, well that's not something that would be part of the plan. I'll have to bring uh, that to his attention. Yeah, he will deny it, but I took pictures of it just to show it. Um, it's, this is just kind of to the point where um, we're just getting ready to put a lien on his property and uh, be done with it and just walk away and let it be settled with the court. Now, um, the only thing that's not done then here, George, is the cabinets and the countertop? That is correct. We just want to be done with this. I mean, trust me, I, I would love to be done with Mr. Reed and have this beyond us. And I would love to stop paying for these pods every month. Um, and we got nine pods out. Okay, let me see what I can do and just see if I can get some answers, um, and we'll definitely follow up with you to see where we're at. We're also going to have to sit down and discuss this with Mr. Reed and see if we can get this resolved. I have, a, I have another question. Sure. How many of your problems come from not money? <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Thank you, both. Thanks. So, done deal. Right, I mean, it's just what can we do? Well, I spoke to another contents company and he said if we have to put it in his front yard so no he said we, can <laughs> we can't do that because it's trespassing but we can auction it off really we can do that blind auction like you see on tv so we can't go on his property because it's considered trespassing we can't dump the stuff there that would be so to get things moving, emergency water removal sends some of its guys out to unload the pot already in the Reese's driveway. I thought this was done. Funky. <coughs> well, let's see if we got them. Yes. Okay. These are all the keys I had, the parts I did. Okay. Strike one. Yes. Strike two. Yes. There you go, sir. Reese's are upset, but can't really settle on what upsets them the most. This one is the association is being after it because this one should have been removed months oh, ago. Okay. And they're about to start finding us, and I told them, and I said, I will pass the fine to you. As, as they're lifting it, they're pulling it. I know, so, but you're in a hill. Mm -hmm. Like gravity by itself, by the time you hit the road. So you got the right hill, but it's going the right way. So when I, I watched him one day, and, and the, the pod was basically even when he pulled it up. That's why nothing's falling over in there. I hope so, because there's a lot of expensive <laughs> stuff in, in Oh, we got you covered. We got you. Okay, that yeah. one goes up wow. there. Okay. Wow. Then you got a new floor, all the walls are brand new. Did a nice job. We real team. Yeah, those guys are really good. Along with the inside, the bathroom and garage have also been redone. So the guys are going to pack the boxes into the house, and Miss Reese is going to, uh, help. The kitchen. The kitchen that I don't have. Is he a 
lot of your little dolls. Uh, that is a uh, uh, Stephanie and Tito. We put this one from Korea, Taiwan, Japan. <laughs> I would say leave it in the garage. Right. Yep. Leave all this stuff in the garage for now. Okay. Kitchen. This isn't an exciting part. <laughs> Okay, now on the Canton. Then the guys went to Canton, Georgia, tore out a floor, fixed the kitchen, and tried some interesting deli meat. Thank you. Mmm. Mm. Mortadella. All right, I'm gonna have to remember that. Yeah. Thank you. You want a sandwich? But that part's not really relevant, so let's move on. The next week, Pete and the guys went out to install cabinets in the Reese's kitchen. However, the acrimonious relationship between emergency water removal and the Reese's hits a fever pitch after John takes a visit to Marietta to check out the new cabinets and talk to the Reese's. All right, so we get her the most beautiful cabinets in Atlanta. They're a coffee cherry, they're an all wood box, they look like mahogany, beautiful. All, And she says she doesn't like them. She wants a white cabinet, okay, fine. We go to Home Depot, we buy white cabinets, we install everything. Kitchen looks gorgeous, gorgeous white cabinets. She says she doesn't like them. So now I have to call George and tell him the cabinets that we bought, built, paid for, installed, we have to take them out because she doesn't like them. They are 10 times as nice as the garbage she had. I'm dreading that phone call. Hey, I thought, uh, all right. You're sitting down? The, the cabinets that you bought and built and paid for, and by the way, they are installed, she, doesn't li she does not like them. I told you this was gonna be a problem. I told you this would be a headache. I, I'm just saying we had, a, we had a tight budget, so. I have a question. Did we ever get any money from this job? I mean, like a dollar? We've gotten no money from the job, no. I mean, what, what are my options here? I mean, what can I do? I don't know. I'm, I mean, I guess we have to take them out and get Something she likes. You're killing me, dude. I, you, you're just killing me, man. Emergency water removal has decided to replace the cabinets and make the reeds happy. But with Pete busy on another job, they must send in the alternates. Omar, a carpenter usually employed by Pete, and Tom, who you might recognize from green bean cans. So we know what we're working with here. High quality yeah. wooden cabinet. It says right on the box. That's how we know. If it didn't say it, if it didn't say it, we wouldn't know. Watch time. Watch time, because you might learn something. Um, you're using that on the top. I guess I can use this on the top here. It's not bad, it's fine. I mean, I don't think that's gonna be an issue. But just, we can't put any nails on the outside of here. Just can't. That's, that's, my, that's my only thing, dude. We gotta use brackets. So you can't have any of those showing. That's my least worry right now. It's the least serious, it's my biggest worry right now. Your least worry is my biggest worry. Because <laughs> when George sees this, that's what my you worry is. You can cut that, that's no problem. <laughs> you know. 
I want to do it. Now, now, when he comes, I want you to say that exact same thing. But the yeah, boss is wrong. always right. Yeah. Even when he's wrong, he's right. <laughs> By the afternoon, John and George got bored and decided to kind of hang around. Maybe do work. So next Tuesday, we're packing this back in. All nine pods. We're going to do it in one day. You need to make sure that stays in there. Like the bottom, especially. Oh, let's see those uh, clamps. They're right there in the bucket. I think they're too small though. What the hell are they? Omar, are you like kidding this, me? So for model airplanes. Wait, what? Are you we kidding me? Use those Come on, Omar. I really have them. Did know. you buy these? Uh, no, no, it's this fault. No, are you kidding me? Omar, I told me to get what those. Are you, what, are you scared of them or something? Tom, we would have been okay. No, be careful. Whoa, whoa. Sorry. Be careful, they might come out. Another reason to be clean. Oh yeah, I see it. See black widow. Ah. <laughs> I got it on you. went up your sleeve. <laughs> Mike's gonna run the lines because that's like different. Uh, that's so he's gonna run them and then put the shut off valves in there. So I have hot water. So you can leave. You can turn the hot water on. Oh, yeah. 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 So we're getting close to the end. We've got to fit nine pods. Nine. Pods, and you can see it's already starting to fill itself back up. Are you serious? What's that shit outside? That's been there. That had nothing to do with that. Orders. Think of this volumetrically packed to the ceilings with a pathway like this from front door up the stairs. You know he's going to do it right back, right? This you is, know when you pack it back in here? No, these rooms were dead empty. This is what's going back. We really? have to work around. This is extra. Damn. <laughs> Look at this. That's, that's nice out here. Yeah. At the end of the day, the cabinets were in and beginning to make the place look like a real home. That weekend, Pete finally finished up a double bathroom job in Tucker, not only restoring the bathrooms, but also making them handicap accessible. Instead of dropping here and here, we've done here. Now comes the most important thing, getting the side off. How's that looking? Yeah, it's fine. All Everything's right. work. You have no leaks. Everything's good. You can enjoy your shower tonight if you like. Well, I'm gonna have to get some curtains. <laughs> oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Hey. There you go. Okay. I just need you to sign off for me. Maybe I'd be happy with everything. Everything's done. Okay. Turns out they mailed the check a month ago and the reeds have been sitting on the check for a flipping month. Once I called Aquin and got off hold, they said, oh yes, yes, oh yes, we have cut the check. The check has been cut oh, 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 over one month ago. Call up the reeds, and the reeds are like, oh yeah, we had the check, but we're not turning it over until you're done with the job. <laughs> A $25,000 job with no deposit, and they want to hold money.
Pete's used to George throwing a bunch on him at the last second, but this time he only has a day to install the countertop, dishwasher, closet shelves, sink. And they never put the metal ring that goes against the wall to okay. cover the thing coming from the wall. Live vanity doors, that's it. Yeah. And that's not that's not his responsibility. Okay. Well, I'm gonna finish the kitchen first. Once well, I'm done with all this, then I'm moving on. Okay. This is the longest part right here. Pete needs to finish today, or else it's gonna be a crowded house tomorrow. They can't. Even George. They can't see the job finish in their brain. You know what I'm saying? They can't achieve their goal because they're not they're looking at. Especially George. He just don't care. And so he doesn't care, he may have issues in his entire life all the time. The reason you want to black was because of the countertop? Yeah, maybe. so busy, man, by myself here, you know what I'm saying? Um, man, this guy just gave me a list and a half, man. This is a thing that can be done today, man. It's crazy. I need a lot of shit here. Ducks that I don't even know where the hell they're going. And, uh, I don't know, just come on your way up. You go to, there's a Home Depot right up here. See that? That comes off. And this is why I get mad. This is a little thing like this the customer seeds. You know what I'm saying? I should fly with George, but I should fly with me. In order to avoid waking up early for tomorrow's pack in, the pod people decided to drop a few pods off early. We got more pods coming today. George? They're here. There's two of them out there now. They want them in the driveway to see they want some cars. Your problem. I'm done with the house, I'm with you. How are they going to finish all the. Punch out. Oh. Well, I'm gonna punch it. I ain't moving anything until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. They're not moving anything until tomorrow. Oh, from the pod? Right, they're just gonna put them there for now until tomorrow. That's what I'm, I'm gonna, saying. I'm gonna punch out today. I'm so done with this With the house, with him, with the whole thing. I'll do what I can, you know what I'm saying? To get you right, man. I know, but these people have been touring with me for eight months. Um, all right, they gotta move the cars then? Huh? You guys gonna move the cars? Do not do this at home. Right, with this wire, with this wire, this wire should be supposed to come off. Cool. Like that, huh? Yeah, we'll just clear it. Yeah. It might just clear it. Might just clear it. Got it? Yeah. You made the same size hole. Did you know this is like a lot twice the size? Yeah, it's down to bend the boy. Are you really serious, Gabe? Did you just say it's bendable? It's not bendable. We'll play with it. Oh. Why? Why do I gotta do everything? Gabe, bro. You told me. I told you, right? Yeah. You're a bunch of idiots. I don't know. The storm's coming. You might as well go back in the cabin now. This is going go back even further. This is not going to open. So you got that working for you. Not, I, know, I know it. I saw it. I know it. I had a feeling. Pete! What about your boyfriend, George? They ain't no other choice. You can't do anything else. Okay. I'll run down to Happy's and back. Oh, North Cross is just around the corner from Thanks, Marietta. Thanks, George. Thanks, appreciate it. <laughs> hey, Pete, he says that's what you get when you get a bootleg cabinet installer. I didn't say that. 
I said, it was, thank you, George. <laughs> he said, thank you, George. This cabinet snafu is going to cost Pete a lot of time, and it looks like there's no way he'll be finished today. This sucks, man. I've got to take this whole shit apart first. Oh, yeah, you can't just let the countertop hang over there. All right, listen to me. This is done. We can't do shit about this anymore. Now we can't do the drawer no more. Oh, we could open the drawer. Just take this out. There we go. Just pick it open, bro. Stinky. Once, well, once in your life, think a little bit. Okay, so how are you going to get into there? That's the easy part. We're going to remove the door. There you go. Open there you go. Because... You know what I'm saying? Bang. Done. Done. A rich, pungent aroma, described as a cross between a septic tank and rancid mustard, started presenting itself, localized completely outside the Reese's home. Dude, this shit hurts me to smell this shit. Well, the, the, the things that can trail us. What happened to that guy trying to work you? Oh, the neighbors are complaining about some smell coming out. From here? It's coming from the ground. We thought it was the ground. We don't know. I can't smell. See, now you smell it over here, and it gets worse then. I, I, I don't have any yeah. sense of smell or taste. You know, the water meter is not that. It's sewage. It's just it's sewage. Not water. Same size. We'll be it short, is. Gabriel. John, what's wrong with that? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. But this is not now. See, it opens up right there. Tell her, look, that's. That's the sacrifice. She wants a corner. Can't get a corner. I told that. What's wrong with his one? We ain't allowed up there yet. Why ain't it working? Why ain't the light working? I'm gonna put this stupid thing for you guys first. <laughs> I mean, I would rather do nothing than me, you know what I'm saying? This is still easy, man. And then, and then, this is what happens. All well, the holes you guys making everywhere, it makes everything when you look say pretty, you guys. pretty bad. Well, you was here too. To be me and the mice in my pocket. And you and your buddy George. I don't know him. I just deliver, sir. Yeah, all right. All right. Hey, what about this here? All right, that looks good. Okay, it's a vent here. It's a pipe right here. I took the vent out for the two wire. Boom! <laughs> well, this wire goes on this side. Awesome. I'm gonna put a shallow box there. That's all I can probably do. You know what George calls this? George calls this a peak problem. Yeah. <laughs> They all peep problem, I can see. Yep. The biggest peep problem, though, is tomorrow. He's still got an entire day of work to take care of, but in order to do it, he's gonna have to work around the giant eight pod pack out. Tomorrow is gonna be like Christmas. Uh, here. We're gonna drop off all their precious items. After all the precious items are. See ya. It's gonna be nuts. Volumetrically. Any old fit. No smoke out here. Uh, Sorry, this is for working people. Right, buddy, just get over here. We need you, buddy. Go, go. We got to keep going. We're going to do this tomorrow. We need to keep going. Hey, now, that is just they're bringing trash in. Well, we don't know the difference. He left it right there. He told me to go myself. Did he win? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. George, George, stop talking for a minute. Oh, it's coming off. Oh, 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 oh,